Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at some of the main navigation areas in CraftMaker Pro and how you get around. So this is the main screen, so we'll come in here, we've got our main navigation across the top here which will take us into our main section, so the main menu which is here, our inventory, sales, customers and admin, and then we've got some options here so that we can actually jump straight into areas if we want. So we can go into the parts area, the pieces, uh, pieces stock report, profit and loss report, consignments, wherever you might want to jump to quite quickly from this main screen. Now, if we actually go into our parts area, so we keep our main navigation across the top here. We have a back button, which is universal across all the pages, so it allows you just to click there and it will get you back to wherever you were. So if you go into somewhere, you're not sure, you click on something accidentally and you're not sure where you've ended up, just click back and it will take you back to the previous screens. We've got a previous and next button, so that will take you through different areas. So we can see this is actually flicking through in the list here. If you can see down on the left hand side, you can see how this highlighted in green. So it's actually going through the list. If we were to actually go into one of these areas, we're in the detailed area, we click next, it just takes us through our parts. Okay, we have our sub areas inside, so once we've actually gone into our inventory, the same as we had on the main menu screen, we've got our sub navigation underneath, so we've got parts, pieces, bills and materials and vendors here. And when we go into each area, you'll see we have this toolbar across the top. So in this one we've got check all, uncheck all, show checked, export, which allows you to pull out information to CSV, duplicate, printing, labels, new, delete or showing images. This button, this uh, toolbar across here, it will change depending on what area you're in because you will have some different options. So in the parts area, we can see we've got uh, show images. If we go into vendors, for example, we don't have the show images because there's no images to show for the vendors. So in the parts area, if we were to click on show images, we get this list view that shows us all of our images so we can see what they actually are in our list view. So it's fairly standard, but it does change from place to place. And when we go into our detailed view, again, we get that same toolbar across the top here, but it does change slightly again. So that's our main way of navigating. So we'll either go through the top here and you can go through and drill down, and then you can go in through the sections here to get further down and then get into the detailed section, or you can go from the main menu you can jump straight into an area to go wherever you want. Um, whenever you're finished, you should come back to the main menu and use the exit button in order to close CraftMaker Pro down. Um, this is the best way to close the program. It ensures that everything shuts down correctly and that there's not any problem with your data file when you're finishing. So please always close with the exit button to shut CraftMaker Pro down.